Hi, this is uh, Stephen Sarkoff for Times Square Chronicles, and we're at the primary stages gala. And uh, I think gala is a great word for this tonight because, as you can see, there's a fully packed house, and we're down to two minutes and 48 seconds on the silent auction. So I'm with Casey Childs, who is the founder and executive producer of Primary Stages, and you are how I got, I, I, I found out about this in the first place, because I came to a benefit you did years and years ago, I think, in the toy building. Yes, that's right. And I have been a fan of Primary Stages ever since. It was all Carnegie Tech, now, you yeah, know, now right. known as CMU. And we have been a fan of yours. So, so, Casey, tell us what prompted you to start Primary Stage. I was at the New Dramatists and I was working with excellent writers. But the New Dramatists, as wonderful an organization as it is, did not produce plays. So I was seeing all these wonderful plays that were not getting produced, and I thought, I will start a company for New American Playwrights. That's and fantastic. the idea was put the plays up, put, put them up. And, and invest in the playwright, not necessarily in the play, but invest in the playwright. That was 29 years ago. Wow. Wow, that's that's incredible. So next year it's going to be the 30th anniversary? 30th anniversary, yes. Oh, I'm talking to my pal, Andrew Lindsay, who's the artistic director of Primary Stages. Tell us a little bit about Primary Stages. Well, um, as you know, Primary Stages is dedicated to developing playwrights and their work, and we're thrilled to have this gala tonight where we are in our 29th season and it's kind of incredible to have all these individuals here. Um, tonight we're honoring Stephen Salton uh, from Dominus Play Service and Christopher Durang, the playwright who we've produced and it's kind of amazing to have this group here because it is like the, the theaters, if you could take this room you probably have maybe like 80% of all the theater individuals in New York here at this moment. So. And I'm sitting with all my pals and they're here to support primary stages and this is this is Barry Kleinborg. Oh hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes I am. Uh, so what, what can you tell us about Chris Durang? Uh, Chris Durang is uh, truly a remarkable uh, original writer who uh, had a unique comic vision that he has been able to apply for three decades. I mean, I remember when I first moved to the city and uh, I saw Das Lusitania's Songspiel, which was his takeoff of Brecht Weil with, that he did with Sigourney Weaver. And I remember the impact that Sister Mary Ignatius explains it all for you had. Uh, it, it, was, it was the kind of freewheeling comedy that um, we, we used to see a lot more of them, we really don't see anymore, and he's able to turn it into an art form. So I, I think it's, uh, I think uh, Vanya, Sonia, Masha, and Spike is the apotheosis of the Durang sensibility. And he won every award last year that he was up for, five awards, yeah. every one of them he won. I, I think the world finally caught up with him. I think it's great. Which is terrific. We're very happy. Yeah. And the beauty of this is, for those of you who have failed in the silent auction, a large proportion of you, is we can still get your money. And the beauty is this. What you're about to do is 100% deductible. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Andrew Lenzi, Artistic Director, and welcome. Thank you. Welcome to our gala honoring Christopher Durain and Stephen Sultan. And gathering to here tonight, we celebrate their achievements in the field of playwright and their commitment to supporting the art. Primary Stage's mission to support and develop new American plays and playwrights is an essential component to a vibrant American theater industry. Under Casey Childs, Andrew Lenzi, and Elliot Fox, <laughs> the organization has spawned countless creative efforts, most very successful, many landing on Broadway, Primary stages who brings them to the public. Tonight, you can feel proud that you are supporting an off-Broadway theater company that truly believes in the future of American theater. 
accompanied by Michael Larson, our two members of the original cast, Rachel DeBenedette and Michelle Ragusa. During Stephen's tenure at the Drama's Play Service, he acquired 17 Pulitzer Prize winners and 16 winners of the Tony Award for Best Play. DPS has become an essential institution for the distribution of new American plays throughout America. And I don't think there's any greater testimony to the ubiquitous success of DPS than today I was walking down 40th Street and I was almost run over by a woman who was going and walking about 45 miles an hour with a DPS playbook in front of her, obviously on the way to an audition. I took that as a very, very good omen. The primary stage is for honoring me tonight. I'm very happy to be here. You know, I spoke at a college recently and I was introduced as a master playwright. I explained to the students present that I became a master playwright only about seven months ago. <laughs> because this is, everybody having a fabulous time. This is a wonderful celebration of something that's very deserving for primary stages. And I'm very excited to be a part of it. Near the school You're the soldier I'm gonna 